All right, guys, guess who's back? Yeah, that's right. We got our Hyundai Genesis back here uh, once again. It has been through the frame machine. As you can see, they are lining everything up. So we just got to <laughs> dent that in. Uh, make it all smooth there. We got a big bump. Light lines up real well. I like that. Now, trunk's a little off course right here. Uh, we're going to need the hinges. So we're going to see if we can mess with the hinges right there because they are bent. As you can see here, this needs down and it needs, this needs up and so and so and so. Got a bad line right there. You can fit my whole damn finger in there. This one's not as bad. Uh, it's pretty good up here, but it opens up right there. So we're going to come this way a little and... Uh, this needs a lot up. As you can see, lines coming up, coming up. Flat. We need to get that back up there. Which I don't know how that's going to work with this tail light. Probably the tail light needs to go a little bit more in, as you guys can see. It's not aligned that well. But nonetheless, we are closer right here. We just got to push that out and get it situated. But good news is, trunk does close now this trunk is closed in it pops and closes we got all the wrinkles fixed up in there so we're just got to put it all together do some body work and uh paint this whole side except for the door of course paint the trunk paint the back bumper paint this whole side due to that damage right there not the door we're gonna go all the way and then we're going to see if we can get away with the touch up here on this one. It is peeling. You guys see this? So, yeah. I don't know how far away we can get with a touch up there. And then buff it. Uh, but we'll see. Alright, well, we came all the way here. Ooh, I hate spiders. And that's a jumping one, too. I don't like them. They give me the jibby jibbies. We got a crisp right here. We got a fix to it, but hey, we're almost there. We're almost there. Oh, I'm being a little quiet because uh, my neighbors are out, and I don't want them thinking I'm. Well, I don't care if they think I'm crazy. I'm already crazy enough. I don't know. I'm just camera shy, I guess. Uh, I gotta fix this bumper. Hey, done. And that's it. That's all I see here. I need to fix in. That's just dirt. Some mud that I picked up there, or bugs. And it should be good to go. Interior-wise, looks pretty clean. Nice interior. Yep, it is an automatic. Look at them gauges, though. Ooh, this is the turbo version of the Genesis. So it's a 2.0 liter turbo, uh, rear wheel drive. So we can pop the hood here for you guys. There you go. It's an RS Turbo. Turbo is right there. Yeah, buddy. A little dirty. We'll get her clean up real nice. And uh, I don't know if I'm. I don't know. Send her in his way. I don't think we're keeping this one. You got to make some money. Same goes for that Dodge right there we just got. Mm hmm. Gotta make that moolah, man. Gotta make the moolah. Uh, Beamer update on it is working well. A nice little car here. I'm gonna try it out. Everybody says Beamers are crap. Whatever, whatever. I'm just gonna try it out for myself. Uh, lights, I adjusted them. They fit well in there. Line up real nice. I didn't put the front bumper. I took it on the freeway. <laughs> the tire rubbed on all this. Just not here because that's getting hauled by the air scoop i think that's what that is <laughs> all right guys so let's get back to working on this one and uh we'll go from there <laughs> hello guys and welcome back to the channel today we're gonna go focus on our next hyundai yes this is still a hyundai Ooh, hyundai and uh we're gonna go ahead and uh fix the peeling right here we're gonna take a razor blade to it, see how far we get. Uh, redo the hood. Uh, hopefully, 
We don't gotta do that much work there. Uh, our work is cut up back here. We got a dent there. Uh, we got a dent over here. Look at all this. And the trunk is not aligning. You see that opening right there? Yeah. We gotta try to close that gap like we closed it on this side. So, we gotta do the same thing over there. Uh, we got it situated up here. We're good. We're good. And then we're open. So, we need to push this whole thing that way. That's why we got a little friend here. And then uh, we got it to close and open now. The frame machine work. We still got to weld a couple stuff over there. Put it all together. Uh, this light lines up pretty well. We just need to do a couple body filler in here. Make sure everything lines up well. So let's go ahead and get to it. Go ahead and get started. And try to get those body lines situated. And we got to paint this back bumper too. Alright, let's go. Alright guys, a little update, sorry about that, this had to leave hell fast, like real quick. Um, we got the body work done, uh, we got the trunk lining up and everything here, had a rig a little bit there, um, not bad. Uh, we're gonna paint this trunk, we're gonna make it blue, same as the car, inside first, then the outside. I did remove the Honda logo, uh, there's the back bumper right there, we're gonna go ahead and spray that. And I decided to leave the hood on, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, paint match it right there. And we're just gonna go ahead and clear the whole hood so there's no errors or anything. We're gonna do this right. And we got that quarter panel ready to go too. I just turned off my lights here so all these bugs can get out of here. There's a lot of bugs right there, you see those? So I'm gonna turn off the lights, leave the outside light on. That way they can um, go mingled. On this, there's none out here. Wow, they're all in here. So I'm gonna turn these lights off so all these little bugs in here can just get the hell out of Dodge, and uh, we can start painting this bad boy, and then assembling it and send it out. Um, I don't even know if you guys can see that, but yeah, we're about to do that, and uh, Fourth of July is coming up on us. Uh, I was trying to put this bumper in there, but I hurt my leg. Yes, my dumbass. My dumb butt fell, so uh, I got a twisted ankle now. I'm still sending it. I'm still going to paint that, finish the car today. But yeah, I'll get right back with you guys as soon as we throw the first coat. Alright guys, so we got our paint in there. We're blending it in. We're about yay. Then we're going to clear coat the whole thing. We got this side done as well. I stopped like around there somewhere. You can see where the wetness is still. Uh, we did the whole trunk. And of course this side, we haven't put clear on it. Uh, we did the back bumper. The back bumper looks a little dark. Actually it doesn't look that bad on camera. I think it's just my light in here. But there's the bumper, there's the car, there's the trunk, here's the hood. We also blend in the hood. So you can see, yep, there it is. We're about to put clear coat on it and send it. All right, well, I'll get back to you guys after the clear coat.
Well guys, here it is. Uh, this is the 2013 Honda Genesis. Uh, it is finally painted and over. Uh, we are going to get a detail. Because look at all this dirt, man. Look at that. Look at all that. Uh, it is nasty. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and get it cleaned up. It turned out well. Pretty clean, I will say. Actually, it looks like a Honda Genesis again. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and um, get it all detailed and send it out. It's on its way out. There you go, man. That's all to it. It is done and ready. Ready to go. All right, guys. So I do appreciate your time. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you guys want to see the process of the paint, the clear, the preparation, the bodywork, let me know. I just think it's too worry, uh, too boring. So I just skip all that and skip right into the here it is. Here's how it finished product stuff like that. But if you guys want to see that, let me know and I'll show you guys more content about how to do it or how I do it and stuff like that. All right. Thank you, guys. See you guys in the next one. Please share, like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys real soon.